inbound ship is doing what speed, John? Ship's doing 6.3. It's um, within our boundaries of safe speed. You can see the swell that we're on this one. We're going a little bit more hitting on our starboard shoulder. There's two ways to do this. You either go alongside the ship and make your way parallel up with it and then um, get the line or you can do what I'm doing now head directly for the ship and let the ship come to me and I find this way easiest for me so I'm going to give this half to one meter swell practically nothing uh, from a east northeast direction and a wind east northeast as well so I will try and hang on the starboard side of the ship coming towards me, starboard bow. I'm just lining the ship up to the spot where I literally want to um, hang on it when it's coming ahead. I'm still going ahead coming to it, won't be much longer before I just stop my tug and start going backwards. So my crew is about to go out now get everything ready I'm going back to neutral then I'm just lining the ship up Roger cap I'm stopped now just waiting for the ship to get a bit closer then I'll start going astern Like I said, this is a nice sunny day, not much swell, not much wind. I'm starting to go astern now. Yeah, Cap, Marlu, they've just got a line hanging down. I'll try, but um, they might need a, a weighted line. Oh, so let, me, let me know you go. Hey, what's happened here? Just get them to try and let down more is they haven't got a, heavy, heavy, a weighted line and I've got to try and sit right on it to get this line which is an impossibility at night time or in any conditions other than this. And I'm going to give this a go. They expect miracles seriously. Look at this. The thing's not even long enough. You see I'm losing control here. I'm really working my tug. I'm really working my tug. Try and hold this thing in position here. This is not on what they're doing, and I'm just trying to prove a point. That <laughs> they've got it. I'm actually on the bow of the ship. Not a real good idea. So that was the hardest way you can do that. I was really working hard then. You can only just see the ship just there, but I'm honestly really working my pods. One's nearly on full power, just trying to control this at the moment. That's maximum to try and turn that then. Well, really got hold of me, really getting hold of me again. This is not easy. I'm just about to tell this crew they don't get this line up to jam at any moment. It's going up now, and now I'm moving away a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit safer. That wasn't very good. This is really getting thrown around here. Just back in here, this is the sweet spot just here, but it's, uh, this is the swell that's hitting me a little bit on the side. <clears throat> I'm maintaining in the area, but there's not much room for error here. I'm sure you can see that. 
nine times out of ten, the crew on these ships just think that we can just sit there and everything's so, so not what... It needed to be a weighted heaving line would have made things better. I should be just out here like this, away from the ship. If I am sitting in this spot, where it's called the sweet spot, I can sit here a lot more comfortably. And the biggest thing that can happen is if I lose motors or anything, I'm just going to really go down the side of the ship rather than being right on the bow there where uh, obviously I'll get T-boned. This is the much better, safer option right here. I think the line is uh, on now. That's all good. Uh, we just go ahead now, get away from the ship. Air Malu, all fast centre forward, streaming the line. Malu, all fast centre forward, streaming the line, thank you. Bow to starboard, roger. <coughs> you could see then that um, if anything would have gone wrong at any stage then, Five minutes, we're in calm water, it's all over. You could see what would have happened. And I was working my pods, sometimes uh, full, not together, sometimes it's a real juggling act, the way you gotta do it, people do it differently, but um, it's not easy. And this is a nice day. You can see how much the ship rolls just in this small square. Like I said, this is only half to one metre. There's not much wind. So he's actually sped up now to 6.3. But sometimes I was using full power on one, one pod, maybe not the other, just to maintain it, the balancing act that I've got to do. So if his speed is at eight knots and, and I'm doing that, I'm losing less all the time. Um, the only thing I have on my side is that the bow wash is pushing me away and through all my years of experience I can honestly say this is the hardest maneuver I do. The only tug we use outside to do this maneuver. The 24-11s uh, we do center lead forward inside on an outbound but inbound out in swell this is the only one that we're game to do it on. Just making the entrance at six, six knots. There, it's all over, we're in calm water. Right. Now that we're in, inside, you can see how calm it is and there's not a problem in the world in here. And I could go and sit on any spot doing this without a worry. Yeah, Mark Luke Cap, good morning, it's Phil here. Would you mind for these next two jobs if I do center lead forward? Yeah, Phil, that's uh, Roger on that. You're center lead forward, thanks, mate. We're just making fast on an outbound ship, center lead forward. Just connecting the messenger up to the heaving line. Of course, inside in um, protected areas. There's no problem about doing this at all. It's only later on when we get out and the ship is departing through the heads, depending how long the pilot keeps hold of the tug, 
that's where it becomes difficult. Mali is all fast and lead forward. Mali is all fast and lead forward, thank you. And Mali, if you could just hold up uh, Bearway, thanks. Mali will hold up Bearway. See you right out there. Mali, lift Bearway. Yeah, I'll just get a bit more line out, Cap. Marley ready. Yeah, Marley lift, bear way. Marley lift, bear way. Marley reduced the bear way. Marley bear way. You see how quickly this coming off just quarter power. There's only quarter. Marley stop leader ahead now. Marley stop lead ahead. So that I won't be doing anything now okay. except staying in front of him okay. until we start getting out. Now all I'm doing is just really running with him. I'm not doing anything. He's doing all his own steerage, using all his own power. I've just got, that line's just um, the way it is, but I'm not really affecting him at all. Because we're about to do a 90 degree turn out of the harbour into the swell. Some pilots have let us go by now, but the majority of them keep us on. And you'll start to feel the difference when we start coming into the, the uh, rougher water. There's a bit of swell there, there's not much there. This is a pretty calm day compared to what we really experience here most of the time. We're just starting to go through the heads now. 4.7, so all within the safety. Marley stand by let go. They're only just right at the entrance of the harbour here and this pilot's um, decided doesn't need me anymore. So I'll just let the ship catch up to us. I'm going to let go and I'll ride the bow for a little while just to show you what it's like in swell. And Marley's ready, Cap. Marley's ready. Got time to stand by, they're gonna let you go. Marley, they're gonna let you go. Thank you, Cap. Here we can sit here quite comfortably. It's because there's not much well, it's quite, like I said, it's quite a calm day here. It's not much different than inside, and it, this is a safe speed. This is some of the trouble we have sometimes, you know, the fact that we're already out here in the ocean. You can imagine if we had a three metre swell and the crew on there aren't on the ball, we're just sitting here. But you can see with this type of swell, no trouble at all to sit here like this. I'm starting to get a bit of side on swell now, so it's starting to be a little bit harder to control, but not much. This is a pretty uh, pretty calm day for down here, sunny Port Kembla. We'll, we'll sit on the bow here for a while, um, let the ship build up speed, get further out into the swell, and I'll see, it's just getting a little bit harder to control now, not much. Just have to keep doing a lot more corrections. And Marley, all clear, thanks Cap. We're just hanging on the bow here just for a little while, let you build up some speed and just show them what it's like. Yeah, Roger right that. It's okay. Marley's uh, clear and you're just going to do some filming, thanks. Uh, Mark, we're going to wait to hook up here, Cap. You can see okay. we've just got a, a side on swell here. Um, the west swell we have is a, a nor'easter. This, this is a more of an easterly swell.
just what speed are we doing now there, Robbie? Can you just have a look, please? Six knots. Six knots. <clears throat> this is still okay, but I, I'm, my comfort zone is starting to get less. But it, I'm still holding it here, as you can see. The trouble is, once you just get every now and then, you'll get a big swell, and the big swell will just throw you just that much more. So this is 6.6, .6, we're a little bit over the comfort zone. Between 5 and 6 is nationally recommended. 6.9. You have to understand this top speed is about 12. So when I'm moving the pods around, I'm being pushed by the ship at the same time, but I'm losing a lot of my power. 7.2 uh, Sometimes it takes this long for them to get the line down because of the wind and everything like that so we're expected to sit here Gets too uncomfortable, we just pull out and come back in and try again Seven point four. I think the whole point about this at 7.4, if I was to lose an engine right here, right now, and we were hooked up, we're pretty damn sure that the only thing that would be happening it would be flaked, flicked around the side of the ship. Yeah. So this is all well and good, so long as everything's working well and good, you know. And like I said, this is a calm day. Seven point five. Well, I guess you can see that I can do it, but um, this is um, becomes pretty tiring because it's uh, I'm manoeuvring all the time, trying to control this baby. And that's that's about well, that's over the maximum what you're supposed to do. But this is a calm day. We're just pulling out now.